Okay, so everyone who's been in a car, everyone, and knows that a car is full of controls, controls to set your air conditioning or whatever. And um, if you now look into the future of interiors, um, one of the biggest problems that car makers have, and in particular designers, is where to put all these controls. Now, touch screens we know from mobile phones and everything, and touch screens will get into cars. It's just one thing that uh, touch screens don't provide or lack is actually if you try to operate a touch screen while you are driving, it could be pretty dangerous because you're supposed to have your eyes on the road, you don't see what you're doing, and a touch screen doesn't give you any physical feedback. And that's one of the main reasons why you still see so many buttons in cars, because buttons can be easily operated without looking at them. Now, Ito introduces what's called haptic touch controls. So, a haptic touch control is something like a touch, uh, basically provides touch functionality or a touch sensor, but it's the world's first sensor that includes a button-like feedback. So, if you press on the sensor, you will hear and feel a distinctive click, just like you would when you press a mechanical um, button. The key difference with mechanical buttons and our technology is that they are very, very thin. They can be embedded into any material um, and therefore you can create a seamless surface into the car um, and you can place them wherever you want in the car. So in front of an airbag where you can't have mechanical buttons, you can put our technology and you get a seamless surface you get basically controls wherever you want, in the door, on the, in, on the roof. Um, you can place them anywhere you want with any material and that will basically change uh, the way interiors look. They will look much more clean, much more designed and um, that's why we believe we'll have a, a great future for interiors in our heads. Thank you.